So in this problem, we're told to graph the function f of x, which equals x plus 3 over x. In the secant line that passes through the points uh, 1, 4, and 6, comma 6.5. In the viewing rectangle, uh, 0, 8 by 0, 8. So we're basically trying to graph these, and then we're trying to find the number c that satisfies the conclusion of the mean value theorem. So let's do c first, and then we'll do uh, graphing it. So how do we do, how do we find c? So what you want to realize is um, we have these two numbers here. So you're going to use this formula. f of b minus f of a over b minus a. And I'll show you how this makes uh, sense in a second. So f of b, imagine that we have these uh, two different functions here, and they give us these points. So uh, how it works is that this right here, uh, this one is going to be a. f of a is going to be 4. 6 is going to be b, and then 6.5 is f of b. And you can think about that. So x value, we're just plugging in b, and then the value that we get is f of b, which is 6.5. So we're going to plug these in to get a value. So let's go ahead and do that. So if we plug in f of b, we know that f of b is 6.5. So we have 6.5 minus f of a, which is 4. So 6.5 minus 4, and then we have b, which is 6, minus a, which is 1. So this is going to become 2.5 over 5, which is basically equal to 1 half. All right, cool. Now we got this value, uh, value, and basically this is just going to be the slope of our secant line. And so what we want to do with this is look at our function. So we have this function f of x, which equals x plus 3 over x. And I'm just going to rewrite it as 3x to the minus 1 because they're the same thing. So what we want to do is take the derivative of this function set it equal to 1 half, solve for x, and then this x value is going to be our c. So let's first find the derivative of this function. So f prime of x, the derivative, is equal to the derivative of x, which is just 1, plus what is the derivative of 3x to the minus 1? So we move the minus 1 down, so it's going to become minus 3. So minus 3x, and then we subtract 1 from our minus 1 half, become minus 2. So what we want to do, take this, set it equal to our value we got. So 1 minus 3x to the minus 2 is equal to 1 half. So let's minus 1 from both sides to solve for x. So minus 3x to the minus 2 is equal to the minus 1 half. Then let's uh, divide both sides by minus 3. So we'll get x to the minus 2 is equal to minus 1 half divided by minus 3 is going to be 1 over 6. So instead of writing this as x to the minus 2, you can rewrite it as 1 over x squared because we just moved the 2 down. So we have 1 over x squared is equal to 1 over 6. So basically this means that x squared is going to be equal to 6, because we have the same in the numerator. So x squared equals 6, and we can solve by square rooting. So we'll get x equals the square root of 6. And so x is basically c, that's what we just solved for. So c in this problem is going to be equal to the square root of 6. Now how do we find which graph our problem is? What we want to do is, since we have the slope, of this uh, secant line right here. What we can do is use point slope form in, an in order to find the actual line. So uh, I'm gonna do it right here. So we just wanna pick a point. So I'm gonna use the point one and four. So the formula is y minus y1 is equal to m, which is our slope, times x minus x1. So our y1 and x1 are just our points, our x and y coordinates. So we have my, or y minus y1, which is our y coordinate, which is four, is equal to m, which is one half, times x minus our x coordinate, which is 1. So we have y minus 4 is equal to 1 half x, then 1 half times minus 1, minus 1 half, and then we're plusing 4. So the equation of this line is going to be 1 half x plus 3.5. And so this line right here, so we have our two functions, f of x equals uh, f of x equals x plus 3 over x. And this function right here. So these are going to be our two functions. So what you're going to want to do is you can uh, either try and graph it out um, on your own, or you can just plug it in a calculator. And if you plug this into a calculator, you're going to see that the line goes up like this. So like this, and then this is going to be our other function. And so this right here is going to be the graph that you're going to get when you graph these two. So this graph right here is going to be the answer to that part. And so the square root of 6 and this graph are going to be the answers to this question.